About 10 years ago, Madam President, members of Congress decided to designate November as National Adoption Month. I think probably because November is sort of the beginning of the holiday season with Thanksgiving and then Christmas and to follow in December. And so it's a time when Americans from all parts of our country really take stock to slow down, to think about how important family is. Uh, we saw that a little bit last night with Halloween and all the children and their parents trick-or-treating throughout our nation. And then as Thanksgiving approaches, it becomes even more significant as families from all different walks of life gather around tables. Some t tables are very plentiful and others are rather sparse with the treats based on the economic strength of the family. But nonetheless, many, many families gather for these holidays. And it reminds us that there are over 500,000 children in our country today that are really without family. They have been separated from their families, sometimes for good cause, but it's all tragic. Children have to be separated from families that abuse or grossly neglect them, and they have to be placed temporarily until we, as government officials and nonprofit organizations, can do a better job of either strengthening and reuniting those children with that family and trying to heal that family, or trying to promote another family for that child or that sibling group. We do many things here in Congress, both collectively as a Congress, but also individually in our own ways, to try to bring attention to the fact that there are orphans in America. Not just the 500,000 children in foster care, but of that 500,000, about 100,000 have had their parental rights um, terminated because the state has decided that reunification is not possible in this case, that children would be harmed irreparably from going back to that family, and so we work to try to find them another family, a better family to raise children, because governments do a lot of things well, Madam President, but one thing governments don't do well is raise children moms and dads and parents and families and responsible adults do that, not governments. So these children are in the temporary care of the government, but is our hope that they can be placed as soon as possible into the loving arms of families. I've met hundreds of families that have adopted, including my own. Uh, it's a blessing to my husband and to, to me. I've just recently met a family from Minnesota a parents who had already several biological children, when they found out about the death of a woman and her husband in the Philippines that resulted in nine children of that family being orphaned, Madam President, they ste stepped up and adopted all nine of those children from the Philippines. And because of the good work of Senator Klobuchar and others, they were able to bring that whole sibling group to the United States. I could go on and on and tell you the most remarkable stories. But as members travel through the rooms of the Capitol this month, they're gonna be very happy to see in the rotunda of the Russell Senate Office Building a very special exhibit. And that's the National Heart Gallery exhibit. About some 10 years ago, or maybe even less, some great nonprofits got together and said, what could we do to help show Americans that these are beautiful children with lots of potential just waiting for a chance for a family to call their own? And so photographers donated their time to take really beautiful portraits of these children. So it doesn't look like just a mug shot, but beautiful portraits of these children. And some of them are gonna be on display. Let me just make a couple of other points about this um, national exhibit. It's traveled around to many cities. Perhaps, Madam President, it's been to New Hampshire. I don't know. We would be happy to have it in Louisiana, but it's in the nation's capital for this uh, 10th anniversary. Now, these numbers do sound staggering. 500,000 or 400,000 in foster care, 100,000 waiting to be adopted. But let me put this in perspective. There are over 100 million children in the United States, a third of our population between the age roughly a zero and 13. So 100,000 is really a relatively small number. 
And if you think about it, there are 300,000 churches in America, roughly. So if just one family within three churches, just one family among three churches decided to step up and say, I'll take this child into my home, we would have no more orphans in the United States, which is our goal. Our goal is for every child in the United States and the world, if they are separated from their birth family, to find within a short period of time a home to call their own. So in conclusion, Madam President, this is National Adoption Month. We have the Hart Gallery here in the Capitol and in Washington for pictures of some of the most extraordinary children. Their families may be broken, their families may be dysfunctional, but it doesn't mean they are. It means they are full of potential, ready for a family uh, to call them their own and to step up and to live up to their potential.